Welcome to This Week on Xbox. I'm Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. This week, we're gonna dive into the new Halo 5 Guardians content update, check out the nifty new community calendar on your Xbox One, explore an intense new game titled This War of Mine, The Little Ones, and much more. What do you say we start with the headlines? Have you been looking for a way to get more involved on Xbox Live? Maybe meet some new friends? Well, here you go. Your Xbox community calendar has arrived. All you need to do is download the app to find all kinds of community events happening around Xbox Live. Watch live streams by Xbox community managers, meet new people, join competitive tournaments, or find out when upcoming titles are releasing. The calendar lets you see all events for a given day as well as a few featured events. It's as simple as scrolling left to see what's happening recently or scrolling right to see what's coming up. You can even filter categories so you can see only the items you care most about. Now that's control. Here are a couple of quick tips. First, hovering over an event will give you a brief description. If you select it, you'll see all the information and the action tiles on the side will display all the ways you can interact with this event. For example, you can watch a live stream, add the event host as a friend, go to the game hub or go to the store and get the game. The community calendar is just starting out. We'll be adding new events all the time. And of course, we'll be paying close attention to fan feedback to improve the calendar. Check back often and be sure to give us feedback on what you'd like to see more or less of. The community calendar is available right now in the App Store. Moving on, the Halo 5 Guardians content update called Infinity's Armory is here. The big thing I'm loving with these updates are the new maps, Riptide for Arena and Urban for Warzone. Another surprise is the re-release of the original battle rifle that debuted in Halo 2. This legendary weapon was slaying gold back in the day, and now you'll be able to use it in Warzone Forge and on some arena maps. Also included are sweet new armor sets like the Achilles set, which is what I've got my eye on personally. You'll also find new assassinations like wind up and stop stabbing yourself. And of course, there's a ton of other wrecks to unlock as well. All sorts of good stuff was announced for Homefront Revolution this week. We got our first look at multiplayer gameplay in the new Freedom Fighters trailer. Revealed in the trailer is Resistance Mode, the four-player co-op experience included in the game. Then, the dates and details were announced for the closed beta, which runs exclusively on Xbox One February 11th through the 14th. If you're looking for more details on Resistance Mode, or if you want the chance to get a closed beta code, just head over to the Homefront website below and register. Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming to Windows 10 PC, and if you follow me on Twitter, you might remember that I worked with my friends at Origin to get my new PC up to snuff and ready to play in 4K. Here are the minimum and recommended hardware requirements, but you can head over to the Windows Store for the full technical breakdown of specs and suggestions. And of course, you'll get all of the benefits you would expect from playing an Xbox game on Windows 10. These include achievements and notifications, live tiles, game DVR, and roaming game saves. All right, guys, you ready? Dark Zone. Yep. I just got a mask upgrade. I want to try it out in there. Tom Clancy's The Division closed beta is in full swing now through Monday, February 1st. It's not too late to jump in and give it a shot. If you pre-order the game, you're guaranteed access right now. Exciting news from the team over at Insomniac Games with the announcement of Song of the Deep. If aquatic exploration infused with combat sounds fun to you, then this is something to keep your eye on. Song of the Deep is scheduled to come your way this summer. February's Games with Gold were announced this week and include Hand of Fate and Styx, Master of Shadows on Xbox One along with Sacred Citadel and Gears of War 2 for Xbox 360. There has been a lot of great Halo eSports action happening the last few weeks. The UK and French regional finalists were recently crowned. Good luck to all the teams as they head into the Halo World Championship Tour, Cologne. Also, Halo World Championship qualifiers continue taking place around the world this weekend. Head over to halo.gg for info on when and where to watch. 
One last reminder that the Halo World Championship Tour X Games Aspen Invitational 2016 is taking place now through this Sunday, the 31st. We're going to be on site to bring you the action, so tune in to watch ESPN, twitch.tv forward slash Halo, or mlg.tv forward slash Halo to watch the eight teams battle it out for medals and $30,000. It's time for Out Now! Legos and comics have seen a huge resurgence the last couple years, and now the two universes collide in the new Lego Marvel's Avengers video game. You'll be able to play and unlock more than 100 new and returning characters as you follow storylines from Marvel's The Avengers and Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron. Mix in a little of that Lego humor, and this is sure to be an entertaining game. The Avengers have your back. So get out there, Agent, and make S.H.I.E.L.D. proud. Next, we have this war of mine, The Little Ones, which is inspired by real life events. Now, this game really piqued my interest when I first heard about it, as it explores the difficulties of war and survival through the eyes of a child. In the game, you're responsible for a group of adults and children whose lives are in your hands. During the day, you must be on the lookout for snipers, and at night, you must embark on scavenging missions through the city for items that will ensure your survival. In this moody, beautifully stylized game, players are thrust into the difficult reality of trying to survive wartime conditions. However, you will also experience the reality of kids being kids as they laugh, cry, play, and see the world just a little bit differently. On a side note, every time you start a new game, the character and worlds are randomized, which has the potential for an intense experience. Then there is Roblox, where all games are community created. You can play solo or with friends in a variety of indie strategy, platformer, role-playing, shooter, and survival games. It's hard to pass up on this one, especially since it's free. Next, we have The Living Dungeon, which brings the excitement of playing a dungeon tournament board game to your Xbox One. Up to nine players can take part in this dungeon-designed adventure that can last 10 minutes or three hours. The next move is yours. We sure love our Forza Motorsport 6 car packs over here, so be sure to grab the new Alpine Stars car pack. You can head over to Xbox Wire for a list of all the cars included. Also, the final add-on for Battlefield Hardline titled Getaway is now available for everyone. Getaway features four massive new maps, a new game mode in Capture the Bag, four new vehicles, and a whole lot more. If you've been looking for a reason to hit the streets again, look no further. Oh God, man! Get these guys off me! Last chance to grab a couple of this month's games with gold, including Killer Instinct Ultra Edition add-ons for Xbox One and Deus Ex Human Revolution for Xbox 360. You've got until Sunday, January 31st to snatch them up. Finally, I try to end on a happy note and nothing makes me happier than free stuff. Now through February 5th, we're giving away The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. Whether you are on Xbox 360 or Xbox One using backward compatibility, you can grab the game for either console absolutely free. Did you know you can set up automatic updates on your Xbox One console? If you're like me and always want your system up to date with the latest and greatest, then simply go to the system settings and then power and startup. From there, make sure your system is set to instant on and you've checked automatically download updates and purchases. That'll do it for this week. Be sure to check back next week for an all new episode. Thanks for watching.